For nearly four billion years, Earth's oceans were home to life, but a very simple kind. For eons, our planet was dominated by microscopic bacteria, by vast mats of algae, and later by strange, soft-bodied organisms that barely left a trace. Life was a slow, quiet simmer in the primordial seas. But then, something astonishing happened. Something so dramatic, so rapid, it fundamentally changed the course of evolution forever. In a geological heartbeat, nearly all major animal groups that exist today, and many that defy classification, seemingly burst forth from the depths. It was a biological Big Bang, a sudden, bewildering, and spectacular proliferation of complexity. This was the Cambrian Explosion. Welcome to Terra Time Capsule, your time machine to a forgotten world, where we explore the strange, the savage, and the spectacular life before humans. To truly appreciate the Cambrian Explosion, we must first understand the almost unimaginable eons that preceded it. For nearly four billion years, life on Earth remained stubbornly simple. The earliest forms were microscopic, single-celled organisms, slowly transforming the planet, paving the way for more complex life by oxygenating the atmosphere. Evidence of this early life comes in the form of ancient microbial mats called stromatolites, which still exist today. Just before the Cambrian, during the Ediacaran period, we see the first tentative steps towards multicellular life. The Ediacaran biota were bizarre, often frond-like or disc-shaped organisms, mostly soft-bodied and immobile, resembling quilted mattresses more than modern animals. They lived a sessile life, possibly absorbing nutrients directly from the water. They didn't have mouths, guts, or limbs. They were a slow-moving, mostly stationary ecosystem, utterly alien to our modern understanding of animal life. The stage was set, the oxygen levels were rising, and something profound was about to change. Then, around 541 million years ago, in a geologically astonishingly short span of just 20 to 25 million years, a mere blink in deep time, the oceans exploded with innovation. This wasn't just a gradual increase in species, it was a sudden proliferation of entirely new body plans. The fundamental architectural blueprints that define all major animal groups, or phyla, that we know today. A key development was the widespread evolution of hard parts, shells, exoskeletons, and spines. Before the Cambrian, most organisms were soft-bodied and left little trace. But now, armor and protection became essential. This wasn't just about defense against new predators. Hard parts provided skeletal support, allowing for larger sizes and new forms of movement. Crucially, they also fossilized far more easily, leaving behind a rich, detailed record of this explosion of life. The animals of the Cambrian period were like nothing seen before or since. They are wonderfully, bizarrely alien. At the top of the food chain, the undisputed apex predator of the Cambrian seas was Anomalocaris, meaning abnormal shrimp, reaching up to a meter in length, a giant for its time. Anomalocaris was a formidable hunter with large, stalked compound eyes, powerful grasping appendages to snatch prey, and a circular pineapple ring-like mouth lined with sharp plates. It was the great white shark of its era, truly a terror of the deep. And then there's Hallucigenia. Wait a minute! Who are you? A creature so strange, it earned the nickname the Walking Hallucination. This tiny, worm-like animal only a few centimeters long, was initially reconstructed upside down. It has a row of seven pairs of spines along its back and seven pairs of tentacles underneath. 
Scientists still debate its exact relationship to other animals, but it serves as a perfect example of evolution's bizarre experiments during this period of intense diversification. Equally bizarre was Opabinia, another tiny creature discovered in the famous Burgess Shale. It possessed five stalked eyes and a unique, flexible frontal proboscis ending in a claw, which it likely used to scoop food into its mouth. Its strange appearance and unique combination of features make it one of the most enigmatic animals of the Cambrian. Of course, no discussion of the Cambrian would be complete without the trilobites. These iconic arthropods were incredibly diverse and successful, scuttling across the ancient seafloor for over 270 million years before their eventual extinction. They varied greatly in size and shape, but all possessed a distinctive three-lobed, segmented body. Their complex compound eyes, some of the earliest eyes on Earth, are a testament to the evolutionary pressures driving improved vision during this period of intense predator-prey interaction. The Cambrian explosion wasn't just about the appearance of new animal forms. It was about the birth of complex ecological relationships, before this time, life was largely composed of filter feeders or organisms that absorbed nutrients. But with the advent of hard parts, specialized mouths, and sophisticated sensory organs like eyes, true predation emerged. This sparked an evolutionary arms race. Predators evolved better ways to hunt, while prey developed new defenses like shells, spines, and faster movement. This dynamic interplay created Earth's first truly intricate food webs, vastly more complex than anything seen before. Animals began to burrow, to crawl, to swim, to ambush, and to defend themselves in a myriad of ways. Different creatures specialized, filling distinct niches, from filter feeders to scavengers to active hunters. The Cambrian oceans were no longer just a slow simmer. They were a bubbling cauldron of evolutionary innovation and ecological dynamism. The speed and scale of the Cambrian explosion have long been a profound mystery, a scientific puzzle. While it wasn't truly instantaneous in geological terms, it remains a period of unprecedented evolutionary innovation. What triggered this biological Big Bang? Scientists proposed several interconnected factors. One key factor was a significant increase in atmospheric oxygen, reaching levels sufficient to support larger, more energetic animals. Global warming after a period of extreme glaciation, known as Snowball Earth, might have also released vast amounts of nutrients into the oceans, fueling diversification. Geological changes, like the breakup of a supercontinent, created new shallow marine habitats perfect nurseries for new species. But perhaps most fundamentally, animals developed a genetic toolkit, the master control genes that allowed for the rapid development of new body plans and complex structures. Once these genes were in place, evolution had new levers to pull, leading to a surge of morphological experimentation. The Cambrian explosion remains one of the most astonishing chapters in the history of life. It's a testament to periods when evolution can accelerate at breathtaking speeds, transforming the planet's inhabitants in ways almost impossible to comprehend. From those bizarre ancient seas emerged the fundamental animal body plans that still underpin the vast majority of life we see today, including our own. The mysteries of the Cambrian continue to challenge and inspire scientists, revealing just how wild an unpredictable Earth's biological past truly was. What do you think is the strangest creature from the Cambrian explosion? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you're ready for more incredible journeys into Earth's astonishing prehistoric past, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Terra Time Capsules, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next adventure. Keep exploring the grand, wild history of our planet with us.